It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> I go to all that trouble for this. I go to all that trouble for this. Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Oh! God damn it! I said don't oh shoot! God. I think I'm dead. No! Wait! <clears throat> I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Don't struggle or you'll fall. Oh, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. Bye, Bat. Oh, my God. Step out of the shadows Damn and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. <laughs> To save the city, bring welcome to Gotham. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement, even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor yes, Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent. Harvey is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, <coughs> together we can we stamp can out the fire, the fire and, and save, save our great city. Harvey Dent. <laughs> if only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. <laughs> Say hi, Bruce. Hi, hi Bruce. Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, 
We will change Gotham. Make Gotham great again. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. <laughs> Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> then I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the Don't grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for if funding my campaign. Why do I need to be a now all I need is a decent party. slogan. I'm terrible at those. I it always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since dent before. Put a dent in crime. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, <laughs> put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime. We're children playing in the streets again. again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband... Voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, Why did whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should families flock like together, should you know, together. like birds. You're preaching, dear. You're preaching, no, it's dear. true. It's the true. Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, golden seems you're age, getting man. cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. One man. And it's a dangerous that. mentality to think so. That's how you get Harvey creeps Dent like this Batman. Tires, Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room <laughs> with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. Now, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched oh, robbery in some been, alleyway, yeah. it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. 
And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. There you Go are. get him. We're on our way. One, these two. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... Is that blood? What? Goddamn cow. Yeah. It looks like... Uh, actually, it's, uh... It's lipstick. <laughs> well, no wonder you were late. Say no more. Do excuse me, Master God Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. But at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harv, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. Word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, <laughs> man. All flash, no class. Let's... Talk privately, shall we? Hey, I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Carmen Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Respectable, you know? Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy is going to sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Follow me, if you will. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with <laughs> Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, what? Come on, guys. Bruce? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. All right, all right, you know. A man's home is his castle. I respect, I respect that. that. Seen and not heard. Seen Whatever you... Heard. Ah, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. 
But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. <laughs> He's integrity. trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. You know, so are you. Up. Hey, we Harvey. all carry this city on our broken backs. Problem, you know? Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can all right, all right. pull it out from under him. Or chalk it from Sure. Okay, imagine, no, this justice. is me, no and these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. Damn, look at that break. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. No, I'm open to making friends too. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Oh shit! Pick He's a lane before you have a head-on collision. <laughs> you listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. Hmm, they have to People have to don't say it. no to me. Not for long. Brad, dude, you're talking about my pops. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. <laughs> and he's gonna get what's coming to him. It's me. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? 
Dent is currently in Germany. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family combo Louis Pistachio Garmoni was found hanging on the side of the 4th Street Bridge sometime just before dawn, causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. And there's Gordon. Random stabbings are Random the latest stabbing. headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number Nearly two fell off a building for the miss. This year. Only three have been caught to date, but all the escapees highlight the rough, some would say inhumane conditions at the aging asylum. The latest, 44 year old twin brother and sister, Leon and Valerie. Find out what was so important. Beautiful act takes effect today. Make it possible. Yeah, encrypted. Oh, Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Take the hologram. This is a map of the east side shoreline. Sure. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. Decrypt and there. in the meantime. I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. Monkers. I had to literally pry Mrs. <coughs> Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much help, harder Al. to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> and it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. <laughs> for the record, the your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Can Though again. people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she nice new to photo. town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. 
I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. need a sass? No, whenever Harvey calls. The guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, Alfred. You're right, you're right. I should have canceled the event. Well, I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places yeah. some night. Though I'm Alfred not partial to heights. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. <laughs> Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal that grand hard? slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why well, he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change good, over the years. Yeah, the nice if I remember yeah. correctly, Oswald was fond of so the old firecrackers in the toilet shit. trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. Gosh. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be God careful, damn. Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. The one that got away. Couple pot park. Oh, this put on a jacket. Look at the guy's freaking by fire in his corner walking around with a guy and biting up. Where are you, Oz? Where are you? Where are you? Recent newspaper. All right, all right. Bruce Wayne associating with Gotham. Oh, Thanks, Vicky. <coughs> Yo, let's be at this kid. <coughs> all right, there's a hobo. <coughs> Poor guy. You know, I'll, I'll give him some money. Give change. Uh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Can I look over here? No. All right, still limited. Burning barrel. So I'm cold, but I didn't wear a jacket. What the hell? Hello. Running late, me by the statue. Great. Oh, great. There's the statue, but no Oz. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna get sneak attack. Talk to. All right, all right. Let's make some friends. Hey. Where's Ben Affleck? Beat it. Blue L. What? This guy's too cool for me. God damn. Die S too cool for me feels Batman. Look at the clock. Well, that isn't what it used to be. I 
Hey, oh, you gonna show him, dude, or what? <coughs> Watch wallet cash. Oh, come on, dude. With this I wanted to talk goes to through you. Yo, man, I got You heard it, man. You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. And him. Bios. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh, the moment! Come here. You oh. think that'll do? Damn, I'll stop moving. Stay down! Oh fuck! Get over that! Oh my God, here's a gun. Yeah, buddy. Wow. Seems to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Monkeyness. Oh my God. L U L. This is my Tokyo park. Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey Bruce. Right now, got a little, uh... this is why I yeah. should have thought more. Good as new. Who wears white out? Woo! That was Still a real for strap, eh? sequel. Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what. Need to play Two in the Battle decades. of the Bastards. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce why I used to run around this so place with. And we're both from Gotham. Back when it wasn't, just you know, in 20 like years. this. How the hell does he have a this different park accent? used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. This place? It's a wreck. It's better off bulldozed. This park still matters to me, Bruce. It's all my folks left behind. <sighs> this city chews right, right through people. people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, nice unlimited Control potential. Home to be a I'm, very citizen. I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. Damn, oh, I lost one Chicago school. Didn't score a power play. Good to know you haven't five, changed, Bruce. Five four. They you still care about something. They lost five four. They didn't score a power play. I... Although I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oil. Monkeyness. Oh. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. Little and push. It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? The hell? He told me to a come revolution is bit. knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts. We're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? 
I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. God damn, just pause that. I don't want to be his friend. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheer, man. Cheers. He didn't throw the meat. Damn it, Alfred is stalking me or what? Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. Right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Ooh, ooh. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> uh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? God damn, why put me on the spot? I'm here today because I want to heal Gotham. To stop the culture of crime that's running our streets. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the Why ultimate really cost defending it? me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Let us honor their memory with this new facility in the hope that a night like that never happens again I probably should have said a tagline right? today on the anniversary of that fateful night we dedicate this facility to Thomas right. and Martha Wayne and usher in a I new mean, era of healing for now, Gotham so I want to keep pumping it. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital so let's open it up you first Miss Vale Miss Thank Mayo. you. Mm. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne. Yeah. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. Well, I think Mr. Falcone is a voter just like anyone else in this city. He came to learn about Harvey Dent, your next mayor. Next question. Please keep your questions on topic, people. On We're here about the hospital, remember? <laughs> 
But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. God damn. What damn damn. Care to comment? I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, uh, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. God damn. Chabere. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy buddy, but this one came from the Come on, top. Gordon, don't leave a bone here. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. The DA is going to hear about this. Uh, unless well, Harvey becomes mayor, there's not much he can do. Can't smile this thing to death. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Oh my god. He just broke my freaking picture. What kind of cop is this? PTSD. Take whatever PTSD. you want. You, you don't have to do this. Bruce. Bruce. Oh, so those two pictures are from that faithful night. Bruce? I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. 
The right kind. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here... Instantly makes you look bad. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Oh, okay. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Who Someone is going yeah. after my family. Crap, so. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Hop in. Well, hop maybe in. he I'm thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, okay. not wild I'll speculation. Okay, on the record, call. then. Whenever you're ready. The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Oh, shit. I'm scared. Damn it, Vicky. You're gonna it beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. She doesn't love me. She came in for a call and left. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this... On the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. I'm Batman. Dun, 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 dun. Warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking oh, everything okay. related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, Files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Hey, you. What the hell happened? Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just a glad hand. you made it. Hmm. Suspicious. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? Uh, it's Selena. Selena Kyle. Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. 
I'm not gonna fall. <laughs> oh, right, sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. <laughs> Money doesn't buy manners, right? Oh, it's just friendly. I was mugged. I'm just angry <laughs> I let that masked freak I get away her. with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, that's terrible. Did they catch the guy? Not yet. But if they don't, I will. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. I'm sure your clients will understand. I doubt it. In my business, people aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. All right, let's hash it out. Okay, awkward. Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. Likewise, huh? This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. personal. God damn, can you trust him? Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce, Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took it, something from me, too. On, Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed, and I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, Dang give man. me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. That's nice. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. 
God dang, this, Harvey's face is so weird. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Don't screw up. Dun, 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 dun. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, oh. good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, East Side Docks, Warehouse 133. So Gordon is on my speed now? chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Gross, dude. Nothing left to bury. did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. It doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. The 
scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Oh, God. Well, face. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skylight Club. Never seen a bullet do that. A cop shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. Jesus Christ, Monk What would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Barehand while face. The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion.
Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Told you leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turn grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. The shooter. No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with a phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. point we have a winner yeah. well face black light hmm. killing time this is the right spot so where did he go So 
he went out the window and got him. The trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. The world's greatest detective. <laughs> Ooh. My turn. Yeah. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Coney. Why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. <laughs> you, you can't make me talk. You didn't do this alone. Where are the others? Long gone. You won't find them. <laughs> You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Time to live up to my reputation. <laughs> You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. Tell me! The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. I start here. And keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Falcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! He swear. I told you everything I know! You're an animal! <gasps> oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Oops. Get an ambulance in here! I think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Hey! Freeze! Don't move! Stand down, Montoya. No. Thank God. You was about to kill me. You want to tell me what the hell this is all about? I told you it was about to kill me. What are you waiting for? Arrest him! Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Oh, Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk. Turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. You're taking this too far, Bruce. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. God, man, so Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Good Don't mom. lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject. Who my parents were, the life they led, Gotham revered them. I could never match that. 
You won't. You will far surpass them. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back, back into the fray again. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... More than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. And it goes back years. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Who do I want to help most? Oh, I want the check, man. I want the check, man. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. Grill. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media, and Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. I'm that man. Dude, look, you see how low his car is? This, this is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's gonna be fallout. That not even Falcone can survive. Why give it to me then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're a Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. Don't question it. Just publish it. I'm a reporter. Questions go with the territory. But... <sighs> Thank you. Seriously. What this could do for the city? My career? I'm just wondering what the cost is gonna be. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. The next time my name appears in the media, it, God, it might be an obituary. Publish it anonymously. Anyone can do that. Accountability gives the media its teeth, and that's sorely lacking in Gotham these days. I always think, crime in the city, it's a hydra. You cut off one criminal's head- Three more appear in its place, I know unless we kill the beast once and for all. But who's even capable of that? If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. 
Wouldn't be the first time. Lieutenant Gordon. He has his badge in the right place. Yeah, well, I hope that's enough. That Sometimes the rest of the force, on. they... They have their own agenda. It's a good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham where it belongs. Public attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Skyline Club? Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. Nothing here. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. How do they not see the drone? Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. for taking this guy down.
This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered, Al. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Ooh, what the hell? your calling card at the docks. The White Rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? <laughs> yeah, something weeks about this whole thing. And it is a dead bat. Come on, old man. 
still want to play games. We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead, give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. It's... the Waynes. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You wanna save this city? Right now, behind all this? Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> what? Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! The fuck, these guys are crap as fuck. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and a stunning expose by Gazette reporter Damn, Vicky Vale, Vicky Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be God just man, as crooked as stuff. his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We've never had and never will have connections to organized crime. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! And that concludes episode one. I think. To be continued in the realm of shadows. Family secrets. Alright, did you pick up... Did you stick up for Harvey in front of Falcone? 
you and 67.1% of people did. Did you provide a quick quote for Vicky's story? You and 85.4% of the choice players ch choose to control the emerging wing story. Did you break the dock shoes on? You and the allow show mercy. Yeah. It's always nice to show m -m mercy. Who did you give the Falcone data to? Damn, only 27.6% gave it to Vicky. Come on, guys. How did Batman deal with Falcone and you and show restraint? Damn, I'm not good at this. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Never betray them. Never. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. That scoop you brought me on Falcone helped me more than you could possibly know. I owe you one. I'm sure Falcone's taken harder beatings in the past. Hopefully this one knocks something useful out of him. Oh, Hell of a view! Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best Wait, for Gotham? I have to... distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. Alright guys, thanks for watching episode 1, we'll continue with episode 2 later.